nearly two years after this crash and a police shooting that left a toddler dead, a newly shared audio recording is casting fresh light on this chaotic scene. Maintaining his lane, speed 144, road through west. Ontario Provincial Police were chasing after the father of 18-month-old Jameson Shapiro amid a reported child abduction. In Kawartha Lakes in Cottage Country, officers reached a rural road and were given this crucial warning over their radio. You just be advised there's a child in that vehicle, there's a child in the vehicle. One minute later, an officer raises an alarm about the suspect. He's pretty, that's pretty, he had a gun to his head. The father's truck careens off the road, injuring one officer. Then a man is heard shouting a command, followed by a flurry of gunshots. <laughs> it's unclear who's heard firing. Little Jameson was found dead with a single gunshot wound. His father later died in hospital. And the audio only tells part of the story, says the former head of Ontario's Special Investigations Unit. I'm not trying to say whether or not they tried de-escalation here because we don't know. We only have what we've seen and what we've heard. The province's police watchdog spent nearly two years investigating, even calling on the FBI for expertise in ballistics. This week, three OPP officers were each charged with manslaughter and criminal negligence, all connected to the toddler's death. Was that decision one that was reckless is really, I think, going to be one of the critical issues that a judge or even a judge and jury will have to contend with. The officers are set to appear in court on October 6th. When the case goes to trial, the audio from that day is expected to serve as key evidence. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.